Your guy is Hank Hansen here, and obviously, obviously, I'm playing Tekken 5. As you can, you guys can see it. And obviously, I'm playing with Raven. It's pretty much your uh, Raven's a really good character. I don't like using him much though, so obviously he's not my main so but this guy like he I think he's supposed to resemble Blade, uh Wesley Snipes, yeah. I like <laughs> I like Blade so but anyway yeah. That's why I think he's a ninja character. So yeah. But you can obviously do all these really nice but later not blade. Um Raven can do all these really cool moves, all these like break dancing moves in this game, so I don't really wanna do them. Mainly because I don't I don't really all I only need is that like, move that he does then. From shit, Christy spells no chance. But anyway, yeah, I've watched obviously Blade. One and three. Didn't get to watch two, but you know, really good movie. So yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. So pretty much, yeah. I'm just gonna just keep spamming the throw move, that punch, uh, and also the low kick. Cause that's what I need, basically. You guys might think it's cheap, but I don't like going for other moves. To be honest, so yeah. So pretty much, we're gonna kill Christy off right here. Hold on. Yeah, right here. And she's trying to come back. There we go. We killed her off. Alright, here we go. Alright, who's next? Yeah, who's next? You're about to find out. Alright, our next adversary is Lei Wulong. Obviously, another character that was inspired by something. Inspired by Jackie Chan. So, yeah. And I think, uh, Feng Wei, which is one of the new characters in this game, was inspired by, uh, Jet Li from Bright, so, another martial artist. So, and there's also that black guy from, I forgot his name, from Tekken 7, he was inspired by the IP man, Donnie Yen, so yeah. Which is obviously another kung fu kind of guy, that's been in movies as well, so yeah. So pretty much this is a good stage. I remember in Dark Resurrection, there was a nighttime version of this. This was like the overcast kind of like daytime kind of version. Like getting towards the evening and stuff like that, so yeah. So pretty much I'll kill Lei Wu Long there. We're gonna like go, like progress, advance, go up the rankings a bit, one at a time. And that's all he ever says is, you see you in hell. Like wow. Anyway, here comes Ling Xiaoyu. Ah, oh, this is a good stage too. A very, very iconic stage. One of the stages you think of when you obviously play Tekken 5. The uh, Dragon's Nest, this is called. And obviously, uh, in Doubt Resurrection, this game was renamed to, uh, Garden Tiger. I think it was God Tiger of the Garden or something like that. So, uh, similar to that. You know, it's like a nighttime version of this stage and it's more dark. It has that more of that dark look in it. So, uh, but and there's like tigers and stud dragons, so yeah. But I always prefer the Dark Resurrection version of the stage. It's like more. They actually brought this back in Tekken 7, so I don't really get to play Tekken 7 much, but... I'm more of an old retro Tekken player, so like Tekken 4, Tekken 3... A bit of Tekken 1 and 2. Tekken 4, Tekken 3... Like, Tekken 4 is my fav well, one of my favourites. My actual favourite out of all of them was Tekken Dark Resurrection. Mm, sorry, Tekken Tag Tournament, the uh, hybrid version. I used to play that a lot back in the day. So yeah, about nine nine years ago on my PlayStation 3, it was really cool. So yeah. 
this year I used to play in the hardest mode there, which was like that game was like really hard for me. So, so pretty much I'm gonna try and take that thing away here. I try and take that thing away and see what happens from the so, yeah. Jet Li uh, character. So this is obviously Feng Wei's introduction. So he pretty much killed his master. If you follow his story mode, pretty much uh, killed his master for I don't know why. So and obviously he was cast. I don't know why. Why he killed his master? You know. And I know he had like a rivalry with uh, another character that was introduced in this game called. Uh, oh, I always forget a name, bro. Oh, was a name. Anyway, she obviously went to get, uh, she basically was looking for him. You know what I'm talking about. She basically she was he was she was looking for him because like she injured her father, so yeah, basically took him out and attacked him. So yeah, basically wants to revenge her. I think her name was Ozuka or something like that. So yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, look at that lead with those rapid kicks. Very dangerous. You don't stop him, he's gonna keep kicking you. I'm taking it for a while, I just like to sidestep him. And for some reason, he keeps going. So, so I'm gonna try and kill off Lei here. Bam. So, pretty much now, we're on stage 6, 7. So, we weren't really paying attention. So, and uh, the come Steve, the boxer, I was introducing in Tekken 4. So, like his attire is very similar to Tekken 4's obviously attire that he has yellow gloves and the obviously the only thing that's new is the boots that he's wearing I think the pants he was wearing Tekken 4 was longer so similar to Tekken 4 Sam Jin obviously in this game has a similar costume as well which is the hoodie costume just that's in a different colour so in a bit of a different style yeah I wasn't in Tekken 4 I really like the I like the, uh, the hoodie Jin um, a bit. Then I was just, I don't really play his hoodie gin much. I like his ultimate costume more. The uh, the uh, the, the martial arts uniform with the black and the red, um, the black and the red, but the black and the white. So yeah. Then we go um, against the um, uh, wherever Kuma here. Which in Tekken Four, I see Kuma, which in, I think. Not in Tekken 4, but Tekken 3, Kuma se the second was introduced. It's like the original Kuma died or something like that. So yeah, apparently he likes to eat people. He's a bear and he likes to eat people. Alright. Pretty much obviously Kuma was an unlockable character for Tekken 4. Obviously he shared the same uh, character slot as Panda. I don't know if he still does in this game, but... Yeah, a lot of the characters had character slots. Um, for different characters in Tekken 4, and Mahadu Hurana was one of them. And Ling for Ling Xiaoyu, if you complete the game, a lot of people don't know that. Obviously, Eddie Gordo was a playable character in Tekken 4. Kind of just beat me. Panda was another one, and I know that was another one. I know, but obviously they used a lot. Violet and uh, Lee, that's it. So yeah, it's so pretty much I'm gonna try and take out Kuma here. After that, we got into we should be in Heihachi stage. So yeah. Yeah, and then Heihachi makes a return. Well, I'm just really confused. Why did Heihachi come back in Tekken 8? Like, if you guys know, just put it down below. So, in the comment section. But why did Heihachi come back in Tekken 8? I don't know why. Is that like... Was he resurrected? Kind of reminds me of that character from Did a Like a Wido. But you kind of know, because they brought him back. Because Wido died originally in... I think it was Dead Alive 1 or Dead Alive 2. No, it was Dead Alive 1. I can't remember... Who defeats him but yeah I think it's AR now or something like that but here we go here comes Heihachi I better shut up for the cutscene
but I'm not going to force him to stop this time. Eliminate him. Raymond's going to hurt you, so if you guys didn't obviously know, so that's why how Hachi obviously survived pretty much here. Yeah. So pretty much gets Hachi here. Obviously, his costume in this game is similar to obviously the costume from number four as well. I think the costume he wore in number four was more darker. And the thing that makes me laugh is obviously this. I think Tekken Four had a better, uh, was graphically better. So yeah, compared to this game. Come on, you be him. Well, wonder that goes to Hachi. Then I'm just gonna try and finish him now. So, try and finish him out. Get this over and done with. <laughs> Trying to finish him. Um, but this is another good stage. Basically, I think the stage takes place in space. Hmm, I'm gonna get destroyed if I'm not careful. Nice. And in Tekken Dot Resurrection, this was this stage was basically similar. So I don't, I can't remember what was different. I know the color of the floor was different. Um, um, the whole stage looked a bit different, obviously. But no, it was a remix version. We know. So if I can just finish Hachi now, get onto Jim Pachi, I'll be good. It's a really close fight. So. Don't want to lose. So we're always really close. Finished him. Some nice switching music schedule. And right, here we go. Is uh, the last part. This is gonna be, obviously there's gonna be another cutscene coming up. So also into. It. What am I supposed to do with Jim Pachi? We say Hachi. Oh, he hachi. Don't ask. Oh, this part just disappears. Bang, bang, bang. So here we go, the last part. There should be a cutscene coming up. So basically his organization pretty much was like, yeah, face it, uh, you can pass you by yourself and we'll get back to you when you're done. <laughs> See ya. Wouldn't be nice if he was dead. Man, you lost against Jim Pachi. Anyway, here we go. I'm just going to take out Jim Pachi here, pretty much. There's not really strategy of beating this guy. Just like uh, I did with the... Uh, oh, that's a joke. Yep, goodbye. There's not really any... Uh, Ah, uh, strategy of beating this guy as far as I'm known. Just keep trying to beat him. So, like, even though I'm the best player to beat him, more combat's like get close to him. Obviously, just keep hitting him. Car, uh, what's it called? Yeah, pretty much keep hitting him with combos. So, this guy, I don't know. Pretty much just keep fighting him until you win. So, pretty much, here we go. Sudden death. Pretty much. Finish him now, so, and then you get Ravens, obviously, ending uh, cutscene or ending movie. So yeah, and we're done. I like that movie; it's really cool. Here we go. Finish. Let's try to finish him off. I don't like that move at all. This is really dangerous. Um, let's see, but I always have something up my sleeve. So. Yeah, there we go, go great. Alright, so guys, obviously, I'll see you in the next video. So this is my Tekken 5 playthrough. See you next video, dude. Bye. This is Raven's ending now.
plane. He's bigger than that plane, come on. 